stand on your word. I stand on your promise. Hello, God bless you all today. Pastor Orlando here with today's devotional, which is titled Spiritual Need. Our scripture reading is found in John chapter 9, verse 4, and it reads, Jesus is speaking here, and he says, I must work the works of him that sent me, while it is day, the night cometh when no man can work. Amen. Our daily power today is, my desire is to fulfill that compulsion which God has placed within my heart, to reach out to the unreached, to tell the untold, the minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ to everyone I meet. Our scripture reading reads, people need the gospel and their need creates a need in the heart of God. He needs to send us with the gospel. He knows we must be born again and he can't just sit down on his throne and do nothing about it. That would be completely contrary to all he has ever done. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach unless they be sent? So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. God knows our need and is under compulsion to meet it. Likewise, if we who are made in God's image know about the hungry in the world, we need to do something. Their need creates in us a need to help the needy. If you and I have plenty, then we cannot merely stand by and watch our neighbors die of starvation. The same is true of spiritual food. Our spiritual need lays a compulsion on the heart of God, and our attitude toward others should be the same. What should we be doing to fulfill that need in God's heart? The same that Jesus did which was also a fulfillment of Isaiah's prophecy. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to console those who mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Amen. Let us pray. Oh, Father God, we just thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for that blessing that you have given us, Lord, of grace and mercy over our lives, Father God. Lord, we ask that you help us to reach out to those who are in need, Father God. Use us, Lord, to be a shining light for your kingdom, Lord, to minister to those who need to hear your gospel, Lord, to those who are who have no money, no food, no housing, Lord God, Lord, those who need a family, Lord God. Use us, Father God, to be, again, your shining light for your kingdom, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to thank you for watching today's video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, join our community, get notified of when our next video is, and I encourage you to stay strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. God bless.